Now, Central Oregon's local alert weather with Eric Oren. Happy Wednesday, everybody. It's hump day. We made it to the midweek. If you feel like you might need a pat on the back for how hard you've already worked here, I am giving it to you. If you needed permission for it, you got it. It's Wednesday and everyone needs a little extra encouragement. Here's a look at your forecast out the door this morning. Going to be a pretty nice day, fairly dry and mild like we've had. And by around 2 p.m., we're getting very close to the heat of the day there. It's around 76 degrees. But things are going to heat up fairly quickly. You can see by noon, we're already getting into the 70 degree range. So it should be a pretty low lovely day out there if you plan on doing just a little bit of recreating on this fine Wednesday. Look at this beautiful view, huh? We're looking at the skies. We have a pr pretty clear view, and that means uh, that we have both a relatively light cloud cover and also no smoke in the air as of right now. Concentrations in the air, very, very light, most of the region with good air quality and should stay that way for the foreseeable future. Here is a look at the Pacific Northwest here at the moment. Not a whole lot going on over the state, just a little bit of pressure building off the coast here. and. A affecting Washington just a little bit to our north, but we're going to stay fairly dry, as I mentioned, as we take a look at some weather headlines. Uh, some light cloud cover headed our way today and more likely tomorrow, uh, but good air quality will continue in the area, so make those plans to get out and enjoy the beginning of our dry and mild fall. And that warm temperature range that we've been experiencing will continue at least for the next week or so. Overnight lows should stay fairly consistent as well. We shouldn't be getting too much colder overnight just yet. Uh, and let's take a look at what's happening over the next couple of days. So as I mentioned, some light cloud cover building this afternoon, but also quite a bit to our east. Uh, and then it'll die down and get fairly clear throughout the rest of the night. And Thursday afternoon, some more activity picking up here in Central Oregon and of course west of the Cascades, but light for the most part. So clouds will come and go, but we're going to have some pretty clear conditions, some scattered showers maybe to the east and northeast of us. Uh, winds as well, not too much of a factor today. And for the most part, they're going to be moderate. Looking to the east here around 2 o'clock in the 15 mile an hour range at the strongest and then in the evening picking up just a little bit that 10 to 15 mile an hour range maybe even 20 mile an hour range in the Warm Springs area but they're moving to the southeast and that's about as strong as they'll get for the next 24 to 48 hours as they die down going into Thursday. Uh, look at the air quality in the region as of early this morning Bend and Redmond the only two with the moderate range everyone else is in the good range and it's forecast to get even a little bit better over the course of today into tomorrow so do look for improved air quality conditions to continue and uh, something to keep in mind as we get towards uh, the first frost of the year we're actually in prime weed pollen season if you're an allergy sufferer uh, we have that ragweed and plantain weed and that's sending a lot of pollen into the air I myself am an allergy sufferer so that's why I know about it and it's definitely a good thing to keep in mind if you're feeling a little congestion as you wake up in the mornings it should clear up as I mentioned when the first frost comes around which would be sometime hopefully late next month now, here's a look at the temperatures across the state, 40s and 50s for the most part, fairly average for this time of day. Uh, and you can see here, temperature is going to be about where they were yesterday in the 70s and 80s, a little bit warmer there out of Warm Springs. Uh, overnight lows staying consistent as well, about where they've been in the 40s for the most part across the region. Uh, our seven-day forecast bringing quite a bit more mild weather. Our smileys wearing sunnies today as we round the corner into the weekend. You can see 80-degree temperatures headed our direction. That's been a look at your local alert weather. I'm Eric Oren.